Hey, hey. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to Smiley's World. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Butterfly Kisses. Thank you. I couldn't do it without y'all. I really couldn't. Hello, Marie S. and YouTuber. Thank you for the green hearts for Sebastian. They were in military. They put that poor kid through boot camp. They, I agree with you. I agree. Amy in Boston. Hello. Hey, Jude. And my butterfly kisses. I really do thank you for that. Thank you for just saying thank you, but you don't have to thank me for doing the right thing. Victoria Burgess. Amy in Boston. Poco, 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 Coco. <laughs> Smelly be making up some stuff here. I don't know. Single mom. <laughs> Sharon, hello. Hello to all the mods and all the people coming in today. Single mom. What the fuck? True crime. We ain't gonna abbreviate it. Smiley gonna say it. <laughs> That's one of my words. <laughs> That's one of my words. So hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me, Izzy. Hello, 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 everybody. I hope everybody's doing good. I love everybody. MTB, y'all put the purple hearts up for Sebastian. YouTuber just saw Seth on a live. Says Sebastian isn't even on Sumner County's. Yeah, I was gonna talk. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. I have a little something to go with that. Hey. Andy, hello, late again. You ain't late. You didn't miss nothing. You didn't miss nothing. That's the problem with me. Uh, these people don't understand. I just go live when I feel like it. I don't tell my mods. Unfortunately, I know y'all ready to choke me and smack me and tell Smiley to stop that. And when I do schedule, I just schedule about five minutes ahead of time. I've just started doing that. I just go when I go. It is what it is. It is what it is. Rev fam, grandma, hello. Welcome, everybody. Hit that like button. Somebody said, you're all about the likes and whatever. No, I'm really not. But I guess I really am and I really should be because you know what I've learned? I learned when you do that, that that gets the word out about these victims and this. Everybody kept telling me, Smiley, you need to be worried about that. I'm like, why? I don't worry about it. But it does get them out. So the more people that know about it, the better. So there's that. Um, you know, I got to stop all this. I don't, you know care because I do care. This is who I care about right here. This is who I care about. Um, yeah, the more that I, the more that clicks, is that right? The more that clicks or gives me the likes or something, it gets it out and out of the rhythm or something like that. Y'all really think Smiley knows this stuff. I really don't know this stuff. I know how to talk. That's all I know how to do. And something else y'all can't have is my heart. <laughs> That's what I know how to do. Hey, Lisa. There's a new update with True Facts. What is the update, honey? What did I miss? Lord, have mercy. You blink around here and you miss something when you think ain't nothing going on, really. The more likes you get, the more views your streams get out, too. Okay. So, however it works, just work it. Just work it. If you work it, it works or something like that. However it goes. Um, just put in here whatever the new news is. I don't know. I'm getting this headache. Who wants a blueberry muffin? Yep. Get them a blueberry muffin and some coffee, wine, tea, whatever they want. Put it in here. Um, 
It's all good. It's all good in this hood. What the thud? What the thud? <laughs> what the thud, man? Good morning, the Canadian cat lady. Good morning. Good morning. You can't make this stuff up. Car 22, 29, 56. I think they were asking. I think they were asking, is there any updates? Oh, sometimes y'all had to help me out here. Um, not, not really any updates. There's something I found out that I didn't know. Let me just get on with it here. We stop the bull crap here, okay? We'll just stop the bull crap. Uh, what I want to know is what the need is to lie, okay? I'll make this short and sweet so y'all can go on wherever it is y'all want to go on here. How about that? Um, so, what is the need to lie here? Let's get to the point. Um, people in general, they lie to save face sometimes, honey. They have very low self-esteem, no morals, they're definitely trying to cover something. They're trying to cover up the truth, in my opinion, about something big or small. The majority of people lie to protect their self. To protect their self. Who sounds like that in this case? Anybody, anybody, anybody? Just wondering. But as far as Chris, why does he have a need to lie? Why does he have a need to lie and protect himself if he's not responsible in some kind of way, shape, or form? Whether it be over the phone with knowledge of whatever happened or he directed some type of help or aid. If he was indeed not there. Absolutely. And I think they're still losing time. In my opinion, I still think they're still losing time. They're losing time. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's what I think. And that's my opinion. And I agree with him. Sunshine, that's not true. That's not what happened yesterday. And I'm not going to call out any names, but that's just it. That's word on the street. And until you hear Nancy Grace come out and say that, Seth don't even know what his test results are. Have y'all ever watched Steve Wilkos? I I'm just wondering. They have to come back the following week or whatever and get the results. Can we not do that here? Can we can we not? Because that's not what happened. It happened live on my chat yesterday. I didn't even realize that was going on in my chat. That's not what was said. And I'm not fussing at you, honey. But that's not what was said. That's how the pot gets stirred. And those that keep stirring the pot needs to lick the son of a bitch, if you ask me. I'm not talking about you. That's not what happened. Y yeah, because you don't know. You don't know. And for those in the back of the room, Seth has already said, let's just get this cleared out of the way. <clears throat> Put that to the side. What was said in my chat, and again, I didn't know that until after the fact. Why would he say it if he was lying? He has nothing to hide. He, he said that he come in my chat, and I said, hey, because again, I, I look, he's welcome in here anytime. When he comes in here, I'll say, hey, do you want a link? If he don't, that's fine. I, no, no, sunshine, not you, honey. Please, not you. I'm not fussing. I'm going to get this on out because everybody's asking it and saying, I'm just going to get it out. I'm not mentioning any names, not you. Thank you for bringing it up, though. 
um because it is a lot of rumors going around um hate fever i don't know what you're talking about i'm not talking to you either i don't i don't have a clue what you're talking about i'm just bringing up simply what sunshine said um and i'm getting it out for everybody i, I don't know um and she knows i'm not fussing at her so can we get back to this um i'm explaining something um so um i'm trying not to look at this a minute because i'm not talking to anybody right now i'm getting this out what happened i wasn't gonna say anything but i'm getting it out um i didn't know it until after it was over because i don't feel like again i don't go chasing down these people it, they know where I'm located at and how to get a hold to me. Evidently, honey, they know how to get a hold to me if they want to interview. But if they come in here, they're more than welcome to come on my panel. But anyway, I'm just saying. So I offered him, and evidently he was on the phone and he was busy and he left. And um, And if there's a problem, I don't like to block people, but if there's a problem, go ahead and block them because we're starting off off early this morning. Um, but Seth said, um, I read it after he, he said that he was, he fell asleep a couple of times. So again, he was being honest the night before on um, the Paschal show and drop his link um, he, he said that he was ready to go to bed. He was falling asleep. For those of you that don't know, in case you hadn't been paying attention following this case, he, unlike some other people, have been out following every lead, trying to do everything he can to find his son. He's been going on the panels that he's been choosing to go on and everything else or been asked to go on and that is tiresome hell i can't leave her in a day and come back and i ain't even looking for a child without being tired then he's been walking he's been searching he's been getting things together and he's been doing and saying the right things day in and day out. Driving alone will make you tired. Then he has a hurt shoulder that he's been working with, let alone the blisters on his feet and whatever else, not to go into HIPAA, health problems he may or may not have. That's not my business and no shade Seth but he's it's not like he's a teen and he's 110 pounds again no shade neither am I but that's hard on a person period now he finally was talked into going to the doctor and the doctor told him it was told way before the polygraph stuff come up it was told way before that his doctor told him if you don't slack off of just looking for your son and you don't get some rest and you don't stop going you're not going to be here you're not going to be here to get your son or anything else period slow down stop he did say he was, and it's not HIPAA violation if he said it. He did say they gave him muscle relaxers. That's what he said, not me. I'm just repeating it. If you're not, and no, listen, I don't know y'all's life, but I know enough that I've been on here for these three years. To, that I can say this in my opinion. If you're not a damn dope addict and you're not a pill taker, a pill popper, like most of these people here, not pointing the finger, that goes for subscribers, people popping in and out of any chats, 
and don't have a tolerance for this, take you a muscle relaxer and see how damn sleepy you get. I'm just saying. That ain't counting. They probably gave him something for his nerves, the best I can recollect. Now that, you want your fact? That's a fact. On top of being exhausted, now he's drained, he's hurt, and he's trying to do everything he can that the doctor gave him. Yeah, some people, Andy, would be passed out for a freaking two days at a time. But did he deny going in there and taking that test? No, he didn't. He still did it. It don't matter. I don't care what he was taking. I don't care if he was taking gabapentin and I don't care what muscle relax. I'm just saying muscle relaxers alone. He's not a pill pop. You know, he's not one. He's not what y'all are used to. I'm just saying that. That's your fact. So does that mean he'll fail just because he said he fell asleep a couple of times? Maybe. Maybe not. Does he need to retake it again? Without the meds? Maybe. I don't know. That's not for me to decide. It's not for you to decide. But people just want something to talk about and trash him for. Because consider the source. Consider the sources where it's coming from. What's going to be really nice is if he didn't fail and he did fall a damn sleep. But anyway, I digress with that. He showed up. That's right, Lisa. He showed up. He kept his word. He has nothing to hide. And again, I'm going to say it loud and crystal clear. Those tests are really not worth the paper they're wrote on. However, when you don't take them, you refuse them for whatever reason. That looks more to me like you have something to hide. And I will make it crystal clear again in case you didn't hear it the fifth time. Seth works at the Metro Davison County Nashville Jail. If you don't know where it's at, please go downtown and look if you're there in that area. There's plenty of cameras on the inside, outside, and in the garage area. I know all about that jail. It's There's no way he could be missed. There's many of them. And then he was seen by civilians, people behind the desk, in the garage, inmates, and law enforcement. And you, any of you, could not, if something happened, want a better alibi than that. That's a fact. It would be a dream come true. If your name ever come up in any investigation, any missing case, whether it's yours or not, that would be a dream come true to have that type of alibi. Just saying. Not one of these. I'm in my camper asleep. I'm on a three-hour phone call three and a half hours away. I'm whatever. Sad but true. 
sad but true. Yeah, I missed that public announcement too, Tiny. Where is that public announcement? Hey, Jam420. So what I can say is, oh, but I did hear the public announcement in my emails and all the things where people's coming forward saying that Chris didn't work and the wives of and the men that work with, but I can't give away my sources. Hey, I don't know. And y'all don't forget other things that I have. And I evidently am not the only one. Y'all don't forget that Miss Kathy's car and who whose car is identical? Thank God Nancy Grace asked was Katie's car in the garage. Because Lord knows Smiley can't think of everything. Especially off the top of her head. Jesus Christ. And it was in the garage. Which makes me even more suspicious. Was that car driven by. I don't know factually. But was it dri driven by Chris. While his car was parked somewhere else. Or was just Kathy in on something nefarious. I don't know. Don't know. I can't say for a fact. I don't know. Don't know. But if that clears that up, because I'm not going to allow anybody, and and Sunshine, I'm not talking to you. You didn't do anything. I, I'm just not going to allow anybody to abuse Seth Rogers in my chat. And if they do, I want them blocked immediately. That's my orders, because that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Period. And until and unless law enforcement comes out and tells us different, and I ain't talking about a damn uh, polygraph, because I don't care about a polygraph. Uh, there's been serial killers that's passed polygraphs. I'm not talking about that. Until they come out and show me proof that Seth Rogers was involved in the disappearance of his son. I'm telling you right now, you come in here with your bullshit on Seth Rogers. I want them blocked, period. That part. Now, can I, I'm going to get back with my program now. Because I have things I want to do. <sighs> and I usually don't block people. But I'm getting pissed off with that. I always say. Even if I'm not in this case. Never heard of this case. Right is right. The truth is the truth. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Period. We don't have to agree. We don't have to agree. We can agree to disagree. You can have your opinions. You can have your thoughts. You can like who you want. You can love who you want. You can't help your feelings. I've done told y'all this from day one. You can be friends with my worst enemy. And you can pull up and come get me and we'll go out and have a good time tonight and have dinner and go party or whatever. And the smile ain't going to be going to party. But whatever, you get the drift. And I ain't mad at you. I don't care. But you come in here disrespecting Seth Rogers. And you're out. Gone. So what? I lose a sub. Two, three, four. I don't care. Stroll and roll. Period. 
that part. Now, anyway, back to Smiley's Farm. <sighs> Y'all always make me so mean when I come in here. Yeah, I'm fair. I try to be fair. But I'm for the victims. And I, I'm for the underdogs. And I don't like people seeing people get run over. Period. I don't like it. I don't like it. I just want to be clear on that. I don't like it. And again, there's so many red flags to me. And that's my opinion. And the Proudfoots have put their uh, foot in their mouth one too many times and made their self look that way. That's what they did. And the fact is, if they did nothing at all, zero, nothing to get Sebastian gone, he's been hurt and abused many times under their roof. That's a fact, F-A-C-T, and I make no apologies for that. I make no apologies whatsoever for that. I could have said when this was all over, if I'm wrong, I apologize. I think I said it before, but I'll make no apologies for somebody abusing a disabled child. Like it or not, I don't care. I'm not here for the proud foot's feelings. I don't care. So don't forget that part. Don't ever forget that part. But could she have been... Thank you, Reiki. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you. So, could she have been part, the mother, the mother-in-law, have been part elsewhere, or could uh, he have been part at the mother's and drove over at Katie's and her car been in the garage? I don't know. If that car was saw on camera, they would have just assumed it was Katie's. That's just a thought. It's just a thought. They're identical almost. Almost. Again, Katie told Nancy Grace the car was in the garage. So don't forget that part either. Again, that's only a theory. But why lie? Why lie, Chris, if you ha don't have anything to hide? Now, if Sebastian was put out of the house, what I want to know is if he was put out of the house by the parents, they said he had the code to the front door. I know, rapper. Me too. But I want to know two things. One thing is... I don't, I hadn't heard anybody talk about this. So if he was put out of the house, they said he knew the code to the front door. He's 15. Would he not try to come back in the house? That's kind of strange to me. He knew the code. The gate. He, he can get out the gate. He's not illiterate. He knows how to climb over that little fence. Come on now, people. And people would see him outside being put outside. That's number one. So I, to me, I've just never had that story stuck in my mind. I know Mr. Hyatt does and all that. And I respect him so much. But I got to thinking about this today, just a little bit ago. Also, there's another thing I need to point out. If 
when I touched on all of the things, for example, like why, yeah, y'all watch her interviews. Olivia's great. She got in that house. Y'all drop her link. Um, so why they said that the garage door and the back door had different codes. Now, how many of y'all, I'm just curious, it may happen, but how many of y'all that have, you know, the pad, I, I, I got one too, so I don't know why I caught, you know, to me, they're pad, they're not padlocks, they're, uh, you know, you punch the code in, whatever you call them, y'all know what the heck they are, why, why do you have two doors that have different codes than the front door? That just makes no sense to me. That absolutely makes no sense to me. Keypad, thank you. I'm looking for the word. Why would you do that? Because even if you gave cleaners or your mother-in-law or somebody access to your house, it don't really matter if they come in the front door, the side door, or whatever damn door. They're, yeah, all the codes are usually the same. Hey, Jersey Dolphins. Um, so none of that makes no sense, really, if you think about it. I mean, maybe they do. Maybe they're just weird like that. Maybe, I don't know, was they both, where were they born at? Maybe it's just something from where they were from. I've just never known nobody like the garage door pre-coated. At Smiley, okay, okay. So where is the, where is the, why is the back door different than the front door? I, I just, why would you have to keep up with three codes? I guess is what I'm asking. Why? That makes no sense. That's too much trouble. It makes it almost not worth it. it just makes it almost not worth it. I, I just, I don't know. It's just something I've thought about. But regardless, never mind all that. If you allowed your child out, not not allowed him, if you put him out, you know, and he and 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 him being a teenager, um he, he probably stay out there a little bit, but he'd probably get mad and come back in or want to come back in. Mom, especially if Chris is not there, mom, just let me in now. I mean, you know, come on now, get real. If he has the code to the front door, I mean, come on. That's I understand that, Donna, that they want people to come in a certain door. And that's fine and good. But but common sense would tell you, even if they come, okay, okay, I got something for that too. I got something for that too. Then how come they parked in the garage and went through the garage door and went in the house? But yet they had Sebastian come and go out the front door and even the shoes, which I have a picture of, was by the front door and the slippers I even asked about did he have to take the garbage out through there when the garbage can was all, you know, none of it makes no sense. <coughs> I mean, I digress. None of it makes no sense. I don't really even care about that. I really don't. It just hit me today. I'm not here to argue with nobody. None of that matters. But think about it. Did you just say what I thought you said? Hold on a minute. So, <laughs> true story. That is a true story if I ever heard one. Some people are so smart, they don't have common sense. Honey, you got that. And in this world, 
You need common sense before you need book sense, before you get out in this world and get a job. It don't matter about your freaking degrees. None of that even matters anymore. If you don't have common sense, boy, you just really ain't going to make it. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. So, that's just a thought. That's just a thought. Um, so, I don't want to spend no more time on that. That's just a thought. Um, hey, Grace. Good to see you. <laughs> I hope you're okay, honey. I don't know what's going on with you, but I hope you're okay. Oh, I'm way behind on my chats. <laughs> on my chats. Who talks like that? That's on a TV. On my chats. On my chats. I can't remember that movie. Oh, my chats. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I don't know. But anyway, um, also, in the house um, per CPS, due to them coming out in January, I wanted to talk about this for a minute, um, which is what Chris told me. On my interview with the Proud Foots, Proud Feeds, whatever you want to call them. In January, which on my interview, I think he just got too cocky, too comfortable, too cocky. He told me that that's, and, and it was the end of January. Um, he said, and I asked Katie to verify he said he had not been home since the 1st of February, which we didn't know that for, you know, for a while. And it, I think it was the first week in February. Um, so it could have been, I'm not 100% sure that could have been. And I'm wondering if it was the weekend that Seth probably had Sebastian, because in my mind, I'm wondering because of the CPS, was he not supposed to stay there? And possibly Sebastian was with his dad on that weekend. And that's why he was at home the first week in February. But I think they did possibly have an open CPS case with CPS. He was not supposed to, in my opinion, be there. Um, he told me about the belt incident that happened at the end of January. He told me that. I even asked Katie during one of the things where he either was not up there yet or he jumped down. I said, what is this going around that he has not seen Sebastian since the 1st of February since he didn't disappear until the end of February. And she said, because it's true, he hasn't seen him since the 1st of February. And then Chris jumped up there and told the story. So that was confirmed. And he told this story at how CPS came out. So I really believe because sometimes they will make you leave. Since he had a job in Memphis and it was already set up, I believe, in my opinion, they told him he could not be there. Now, he straight out lied to Nancy Grace. He told her it was three to four years ago. And he only did that one time ever, ever. And he told Nancy Grace that actually that was the first time, he said, believe it or not, that was actually the first time it ever happened. Well, darn, Chris, you're just not very good at this, are you? Just not very good at it. You wonder if the RV was purchased in January? 
I'm not sure. It could have been, though. It could have been purchased there. Yeah, he lied. So, again, why all the lies? Um, you're also not too good about lying, in my opinion. You're just really not. Some people will lie about the time of day. But he's just really not good at lying about this. You're really not good about making up stories, you silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, Mr. Chris. You're acting like a child. And only a handful of dum-dums are believing you right now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know. I'm just saying. And you really, truly have to consider those sources. You really have to consider those little handfuls that are believing him. One's up here, one's down here. You just have to consider the sources. In my opinion, of course. So I'm just curious. Did anyone go back out to Nazareth Terrace Trace and um, search? Because I got to thinking about this too. It's never good when Smiley starts thinking. But um, I just wonder if they did because I don't think they did, but I don't know. I don't know anything about the searches other than they've been searching in Hendersonville. And the reason that I'm asking about that is if Seth hears this. Um, the reason that I'm asking about that is because I remember when that's where they were um, searching and Seth, I don't know who he, he got a tip from, but he got this tip. And so that's when they went to Hendersonville. And if you notice, I don't know if they, and this is just me, my thoughts, it don't mean a thing. So I don't want to waste anybody's time or anything like that. It just means that um, <clears throat> it just means that um, yeah, life is hard. Why make it any harder? Uh, so it just means that um, I noticed and I just thought about this. Seth got the tip. So they all went to Hendersonville. Okay, and they've been searching there ever since, and which is fine. Thank you, Misty, for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so why haven't they been back out to like the um, trace? Why? Um, or have they? I don't know if, if they have. Let me know. Hey, Crystal and everybody coming in. Um, yes. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. Has anybody thought to go back out there? Can they put people on both sides? And it's funny, too, because they've been in Hendersonville all this time. And remember when the first YouTubers and stuff went down there? Then they started blaming and following and then all the fights got started and stuff and i'm not saying the youtubers did or anything like that i'm, I'm just saying like distractions um thank you missy good to have you back i'm just saying that um why was people pulled away from there and then got distracted and forgot about going back out there um it just dawned on me today. Now, there, there's things going on and, and, and people, I guess, on both sides. I'm not taking anybody's side. I'm just saying on both sides, I guess, from what I'm hearing, 
I don't know. There's just been chaos. Okay. So is that a distraction even to this day to say, look this way when you really should be looking this way? It's a thought. And if you're going to stay this way, maybe you should also put people this way again, too. Now, I don't know. I was not privy to any of that information. But I am begging you to consider that, Seth, if you hear this. But here's a thought. Just a thought. Just a thought. Because you know I always got something for you. Um, again, it's okay. I can understand if people don't work together and all that. But you have volunteers and, you know, just cover all your bases. I'm just thinking out loud. But Chris and Katie, the mother of Sebastian, while y'all are at it, why in the tarnation? <laughs> Won't y'all get some fresh air and get out of that camper and go search? Go search the trace, honey. Go search. Consider it a hiking day. After all, you both could use some exercise. It's not good for one to sit around all the time. That could cause health problems. You like to camp. You do like to camp, right? I mean, take you a picnic, a blanket. Get you some lovey doveys going on. And all the things. Go walk around the trace, honey. I mean, and peep over a few waterfalls and under a few things. You know, what's wrong with that? I'm just being realistic, y'all. I ain't trying to be funny. What in the heck? <laughs> Even Candace got out with her friend Kathy and went to places. You know, I'm, rest I'm restarting to think the whole Summer Wells thing. I'm, 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 uh, you know, what in the world is going on here? What in the world? No ringing on the hand, green eyed PI. I'm telling you, something cray cray and really fishy is going on here. Now, let me tell you a few more things here. This is what we, I, well, somebody was telling me in here earlier and I said, I know. But let me tell you something to this. Um, I guess everybody knows because um, it was said in uh, another chat earlier that Sumner County don't even have Sebastian listed as an open case. TBI does, but Sumner County don't. TBI does not. Is TBI looking? Yeah, they are. Why is it not an open case? Another thing we all know and we all heard that it was said, and I'm starting to believe one thing Mr. Chris said. Mr. Chris told one of the divers, we all heard it, he was able to ride around in one of the police cars and allegedly 
Chris wasn't there and he's not a parent. So why? Y'all need to stay woke because I'm fixing to tell y'all something. Sit up in your seats all straight. Why? Sumner County, I've been taking up for you. Why? Well, I'm fixing to just bust your bubble here. Y'all sitting up straight, right? Don't be drinking nothing. Might get choked. Sumner County. I'm very disappointed in you. In fact, when I get off of here, I am fixing to write Mr. Carter. He's the one that actually sent me four pieces of my interview and things. Maybe he's on the up and up, but I'm literally fixing to write him a personal email because all this has just came down. But what I want to suggest is this. I'm sorry. Chris's sister. I want to believe you, Sumner County. But now I'm having my doubts. Because Chris's sister is working for the Sheriff's Department. Now, is it Sumner County Sheriff's Department? That I have not been able to confirm yet. But here's the thing. If it is, I do not, and I suspect it is, in my opinion, And Chris, here's the thing. I don't care what you're trying to keep secret. YouTube is going to find it out. We're better than the freaking FBI. But. Stay woke. Stay woke. I don't care if Chris's sister, in my opinion is working behind a desk. I don't care if she's shining the sheriff's shoes. I don't care if she's laying on her back and I don't give a damn if she's scrubbing toilets. If she is working in the sheriff's department while this is going on, she needs to recuse herself. And if she does not recuse herself, then she needs to be recused in my opinion. And I suggest for that reason and that reason alone that everyone needs to write in or call in and suggest just exactly that. And I wished I had known this earlier. And is this one reason? that Chris got his little tour around Hendersonville. Did sister have some pool? I don't know. Katie set her butt at home. Why didn't they take Katie? Chris wasn't even there. Remember? Remember law enforcement? Remember, if nothing else, Seth was the next again. He should have been the one to go. I want to believe in you, but what is really going on? I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. Tell me the U.S. Marshals, the freaking people that can get Saddam Hussein, the freaking protect the USA. Nobody has sighting of this boy, Sebastian. Nobody. Drones? Equisearch? Knocking on doors. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate you, Amanda. And yeah, they're not telling Seth anything in Sumner County. Zero. I agree, but I don't like saying that because I just want to hang on with a wing and a prayer. And for Seth, I just want to pray that he gets his baby back in his arms. Hey, crimes have consequences. Did you change your looks? Absolutely, Caslin. Now, I don't like to put something out that's not factual yet, or yeah, yet. Maybe I shouldn't even do this, but I did see a couple hours ago, I've been on here. Well, yeah, I guess it's been a couple hours. Um, somebody posted in one of the Facebook groups. So this is not a fact. Let me read exactly what it said. I'm going to just read you what it said. I'm sure you've probably already seen it by now. It's no big secret. But I did. Um, <coughs> I'll be asking law enforcement this too. <coughs> Um, it says, okay, somebody posted, I heard, I never liked that word, I heard, because again, that's hearsay, but it says, I heard from one of the neighbors, CP and KP, that three something in the morning they saw Katie in her car around the corner and Sebastian got out and got in it into it with Kathy Bowersock's car on 226-2024. Now um remember they have the exact same car, same color, everything. I asked them, I said, I promise you, I, I said that last night. I bet Chris either drove Kathy's car because they look alike now. Did they get actual video or was it, uh, you know, of was it Kathy? Because somebody down in here said, um, somebody down in here did say, because I took screenshots, but they did say that um, they got video. Okay, so... I didn't get that part, but anyway, it's in there. Um, so supposedly somebody was waiting on the video to upload. It may be in there now, uploaded, but supposedly there's a video out there. I don't know if it is or not. I ain't had time to sit there and wait on no video, honey. Ain't got time for all that. I can't sit there and watch everything. Oh, thank you. Uh, Look, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'm helping me anything, but I try. I heard that. 
I heard that. I just want everybody to be safe. I see they're getting mad at him for asking too many questions. He said, <coughs> look, it's his son. It's his son. He has every right. They better, they should be glad he's asking questions. What they need to do is get rid of the conflict of interest. That's what they need to do. If it was a judge sitting on a bench and there was a conflict of interest, they'd have to recuse themselves. <coughs> I mean, you know, and somebody, uh, please drop Seth's GoFundMe page in here and please drop his, um, you know, cash app and um, the t-shirts. Only make sure it's Seth's where they buy the t-shirts from Seth. I think Hey Jude knows that. So make sure it's that one. Because there's another one going around and I do not want that on my channel. So hey Jude knows which one it is. If you will, if you don't mind. Equiser. Yes, um, I haven't got a chance to watch that yet. Uh, Equiserch was on Duty Run last night, but I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to when, I, when you're done. Yes, because... Um, they were on there. I've heard little bits and pieces what they might have said. I don't really know um, everything. Um, I, 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 you know, I don't know, to be honest with you, because um, I haven't watched it. I want to, but, um, yeah, so that's, you know. And, and April is Autism Awareness Month. Anybody that is around any children with autism um, that can help anybody or volunteer, please do so, you know, but learn about it, you know, read up on it, learn all you can. And it, listen, even if you have children or in a relationship with somebody, um, you, you can never know enough. We're going to, one day soon, me and Dino talked about this one day soon, and I have wrote some stuff down, and, you know, one day soon, we're going to have a panel dedicated, and, and it'll be from this month, since this is Autism Awareness Month. We're going to have an autism, um, just talk about it. People can come up. That we can talk about it if you have children, grandchildren. There's not one person alike. There's not, um, you know, there's different parts of the spectrum. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand it. You know, I saw, and I don't know if they were being trying to be funny or trying to be helpful. Unfortunately, you never know what you get with some of these trolls. It wasn't in my chat, but I did see somewhere, I think it was in a Facebook, where they're like, I think I spotted Sebastian. I forget where it was at. This was a couple of weeks ago. And he looked like he had autism. And I was just like, oh, brother, Lord, help. You know, and unfortunately... <laughs> You can't look like you have autism. You, I mean, listen, folks, get educated. Get educated. That's all I can say. There is no look. There, There is no look. Now, some people have other problems and may have a little bit different look or something like that. There's no look. Okay? That part. Um, and, well, there's several, so I don't know if it was that or not, but yeah, <laughs> what does it look like to be a dummy? I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. A and possibly, yes. Oh my God. And I just want to tell y'all, I, I had, um, 
a cousin, she she died at like 50 on my dad's side. Oh, we loved her to death. You know, um, sweetest thing ever. Sweetest thing. I'm going to tell you something. Those are the sweetest children ever. The Down Syndrome babies, they are the sweetest. And then I had one growing up, a friend that lived in the neighborhood. I'm going to tell you, they are the sweetest ever sweetest if anybody cannot love or have the heart to open up to those then i don't know what to tell y'all man i just really don't know what to tell you i really don't there says gofundme page um you know and they are they grammy they are the happiest people lord they are so happy Who changed their story? Um, I don't know what y'all are talking about. Who changed what story? Um, listen, I don't know what y'all are. Who said what after Ellie pissed him off? I, I don't know what we're talking about, but for those that just come in, if I, if you just come in and you didn't get the first of the memo, I'm going to tell you like this. And I'm going to tell you one more, one last time. If you talk about Seth in here, you know I don't like to block you. But I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. Everybody can have their own opinion. Everybody can say they want. We don't. If you don't want to rewind it, I'll just tell you like this. But if you want to rewind it, it's probably best if you rewind it. But I'm going to tell you one last time like this. And I'm not talking to anybody in particular because I don't, again, I don't know what's going on. I'll tell you one time like this. Um, you can have your opinion. You can like who you like. Believe who you believe. Everybody's welcome here. But when it comes to you're going to talk trash about Seth Rogers and that bullshit, I don't care who you are. You're going to get blocked. You're going to the death box like Jody Sue has. Smiley's making a death box. Period. If I have to go over there and ask her how to make the death box, the death box is coming. So stop it. That's all I got to say. I support Seth a hundred thousand percent here. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. You can, I mean, you can have your opinions. You can say, well, I don't agree. We can agree to disagree. But when it comes to fashion or making up rumors, it ain't going to happen on this channel. I don't care. Well, I'm not going to be tolerant of any of that, or I'm not going to allow him to be disrespected. That's just the way it is. And in my three years here, I've never made no rules like that, but I'm making them today. I'm going to, Smiley is going to start standing her ground. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Just the way it is. What's that song? Oh, God. I, I can't hold a tune to that. He just wants his boy back safe and healthy and happy, you know? And he, all he wants to do is get him, carry him home. And that's that. And for the love of God, I was going to show y'all on Pascal and I can't find it anymore. I think it's on TikTok, literally. I, I don't know where I saw that. Pascal was riled up about it. Let me just tell you something. I saw it in real time on his show. There's just not enough duct tape or gray tape or whatever in the heck you want to call it. I, I don't know. Whoever said when Seth coughed or sneezed or whatever, he had Sebastian in the house. Stop the rumors, y'all. This is why and what Ellie talks about in TBI and all that. Stop, stop, stop. Just stop it. Thank you, sunshine. Thank you, honey. All y'all are welcome. And one more thing um, I want to tell you is... Phones, phones. So far, I think 
we got until tonight, or I'll post it on the community post, post if I don't come back on here. Um, um, let me just look. I think it's Smiley Squad for the name on our, uh, what do you call it, members that y'all voted. But you can keep going until, you know, probably about 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. And then me and Millie will add it up and see what's what. And if you want to keep voting on that, you can until about 7 or 8. And then I'll announce it sometime later, late tonight on there. Or I'll come on with a little video or something. But so far, it's Smiley's Squad. And that way, so you know you had part in it or whatever. Um, and right now, I just want to end this by saying thank you. And again, if you have any flyers or anything, please continue to put those out. You know, keep an eye out for Sebastian. Keep hoping and keep praying. You never know. Um, Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, 15 years old, male, white, brown hair, brown eyes, 5'5", five, five, 120 pounds. Um, and if you have any information, please call Bobby Simmons at 1-800-TBI-FINE or B. Carter at 615-451-3838. Mr. Carter, you're going to be hearing from me here in just a few minutes. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you somewhere in the streets. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye.